So I thought I'd just share that piece of content. Before I get into that, let me get into this. So during the first lockdown, 2020, unfortunately, one of my Taekwondo training partners, get me a man that was a member of my Taekwondo club, unfortunately he committed suicide. He weren't just a training partner or a member of my club, he actually owned his own club as well. But he also used to train with my club. Big man, black man, pushing 60, if not. So I'm at the funeral and obviously you know part of the funeral people get to go up and say their piece and that. And about six people went up and said their piece. And I noticed no one from my Taekwondo club or his Taekwondo school that he was the master instructor of, no one had got up to give a speech or nothing like that. So I thought I heard the person who was running the program because obviously you have like the priest and that, but then you have someone else who was kind of running the program. I think it was one of his family members. I thought I heard him say, I was sitting right at the back of the church. I thought I heard him say, does any one of the family and friends want to come up and give a speech? That's what I thought I heard. It's funny, when you want to do something or your mind's in a certain frame, you're in the same certain frame of mind, you hear what you want to hear. Because I wanted to go up and, you get me, say some words and that on behalf of the Taekwondo clubs. Because no one from our Taekwondo club said nothing. So boom, I thought I heard the person who's running the program say, oh, you know, does anyone from the ta uh, friends and family want to say anything in it? So I've just jumped up. A man's interrupted the, the program and that. The guy's looking at me like, what are you doing up here? And I said to him, I thought you said, you get me, um, does anyone out of the friends and family want to say anything in that? And he's like, no, 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 you can't come up here. And then someone else said, no, 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 let him, let him speak, innit? They said, all right, cool. You're going to have to wait your turn. Someone else is going to about to say something. So anyway, it's boom. After this person said what they need to say, I jumped up on stage now. A man just gave a few little words and that. And obviously someone's funeral and that, and you get me, you just want to speak on positivity. You get me, you don't want to talk bad on no one's name. Me, I don't believe in God, man, I don't believe in the afterlife, but I still believe you should respect the dead and that. So that's why when I hear people trying to talk mad on Kevin Samuels' name and that, like, bro, drop it out, man, get me. Unless someone was really your pagan or something like that. But if you didn't have beef with someone, why are you talking mad on their name if they passed away? So obviously, man's at a funeral and that, and obviously, get me, you want to talk positive on people and stuff like that. But in the back of my mind, especially later on, I was thinking to myself, nah, what my man has done is selfish, you know. My man had an able-bodied, able brain. Healthy. Get me, man 60, still training in Taekwondo. And due to probably, probably quote unquote some depression issues and stuff like that a man decided to take his life and he's selfish for a few reasons you know how much people right now are dead because they've been murdered through no fault of their own they've just been in the wrong place at the wrong time you know how many people right now is dead because they caught some deadly disease you know how many people is dead because their yard has been blown up in Afghanistan. For a man to, because he's going through some depression issues, to go and kill himself. Imagine a man had a whole taekwondo school of children who looked at him as a father figure for him to go and kill himself. What type of example are you setting for yourself, blood? Seriously. Oh, sorry, what type of example are you setting for the pitney them? Seriously. Do you have to check it? As a martial arts instructor, you are almost seen as their father figure. Like my Taekwondo instructor, Master John, I see him like my uncle. My previous Taekwondo, um, my previous, my first initial Taekwondo instructor, Master Tessa, I see her like my second mum. There's a white woman as well. Got too much respect for that lady. I see her like my second mum. So 
you get me? You see, when you're in martial arts and that, as long as you're taking it seriously and you do it from a young age or whatever, you see your instructors as a father figure. You look up to them or a motherly figure. You look up to them. So what type of example is a man setting for the youth then? You get me? If he's going to go and kill himself and that. He's basically saying to them that, you know, you're, you, you are not strong enough to fight for your issues and that. It's also a disrespect to a man's parents. Anyone that's committed suicide, bro. You're disrespecting your parents, fam. Imagine, yeah, what your parents have had to go through to keep you safe. Put, put food on your table. Provide for you. Make sure you've got clothes on your back. A warm and clean place to sleep in. For you to become 21, 25 or whatever age and think, you know what, fuck it, bam. Or jump off a cliff or jump out of a tower block and that. It's selfish blood. The people them that commit suicide should be ashamed of themselves, blood. I swear. I actually, I, you know, whilst I was giving the speech and that, I was thinking to myself, you know, I actually wanted to say, like, after man spoken on positivity and yeah, that, because the guy was the coolest brother ever. Trust me. The coolest brother ever. I actually wanted to say, but I didn't say it. I actually wanted to say, you get me, I've spoken on positivity or whatever in here. But at the same time, you know what? Someone so is selfish. Selfish for making us have to take days or, or, or time out of our day to come to his funeral when this just was not needed. This could all have been avoided. Making people have to mourn a man. Because a man can't deal with his problems and that. That's what a man really wanted to say, you know. But anyway. So, the reason why I put that first piece in the, at the beginning of the video is because a lot of black people, we don't actually understand what our ancestors actually went through, you know. We think as black people, we got it hard because the police are a little bit more harder on us. Or, quote-unquote, you have to work twice or five times as hard as the white man for half the results. It's bullshit, blood. But even if, even if it was the truth, blood, we're still living life better than our ancestors who were fucking slaves. And Imagine, imagine you was a girl and the white slave master, at any time he wants, he can come grab your arm. And rape off your blood clot. Imagine what that would be like. I mean, I don't know. Maybe they even used to rape off some of the men. In front of the, the women to emasculate them. And even if they didn't. They used to beat and brock up and kill some of the biggest slaves. In, that, in front of the other slaves to put them in their place. Imagine having to go through that blood. There's people, oh yeah, I'm black, I'm proud and that, and Malcolm X, Rosa Parks and that, blood. All the black freedom fighters, eh? That you worship and you say you want to be like and rare, 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 who, 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 you shout their name, you put their quotes on your WhatsApp and Instagram and that. Do you think they'll be proud of you as a black person? How you're acting? What you're, do well, what you're not doing with your life, should I say? Would they be proud of you? Because me personally, I know for a fact all these people that man's mentioned and that if they also look at me, they would actually be proud. Like, yeah, you know, yeah, he's one of the ones that you get me is doing something with himself instead of just existing. Most people watching this right now, you're just existing. Truth hurts. You know it. You know in your heart of hearts, blood. You're just existing, fam. You're not stepping out of your comfort zone. You're not making no sacrifice, blood. You're just existing. You were born, you're just living, and you're going to die, and that's it. And no one is going to remember your name, blood. You're content with just working for a next man, just working a normal job, and that's it. 
Screw that couple gal, one, two youths, that's it. But there's more to life than that, fam. You got idiots that I've seen in podcasts talking about, oh, um, there, there's racism in the workplace because I've, I, I'm a black man and I was a worker at TGI Fridays for six years. I never got a promotion. Blood, what are you doing at TGI Friday for six years, blood? Seriously, fam. Man for develop, man for harness and, you get me, really have some more ambition than fucking working at TGI Fridays. Come on, fam. Why are you there for that long? Six months to a year, you should be out, fam. Not six years, bro. Telling you, we as black people, especially us Caribbeans who are ex-slaves and that, bro, we need to start making some of our freedom, bro. Because trust me, fam, the shit that our ancestors went through, fam, we need to start paying them back. Fam, we don't need, you see all these payback tickets as well, like this reparation, but we don't need reparations, you know, dog. The fact that we're here in a country where we've got opportunity, we've got resources to become the best version of ourselves and that improve our lives, that's all reparations we need, fam. We do not need to be put on 50 grand a year. We do not need the Queen's crown jewel that she allegedly stole from Africa. That's not helping no one, fam. Yeah, if they returned the the, 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 the diamond or whatever they, they uh, allegedly stole from Africa, they returned to Africa. What's that doing for black people? What would putting black people on 50 grand a year or whatever in it, giving every black person a lump sum of 10 grand and that? What would that do for black people? We need reparations to our brains and we need to change our mindsets, fam. Because money comes and goes. Imagine if they actually gave us people money, reparations. Here's 20, here's, here's 30, 30, 35, whatever in it, yeah? What would we do with that money? Rolex, watch, Balmain, fucking trips to this country, that country. But we'll all go to waste, blood. Only a small select, small population of people would actually say, you know what, yeah? Let's invest in property and uh, let's start building up wealth and you get me, investing into our people and our community and that. Because that's what that like, people like Jewish people will do or Indian people will do, Asian people will do. They invest it back into their community, fam. When it comes to money and black people, the only thing we care about in terms of the community is stunting on the next man. This is why we forever be broke. Talking to my girl the other day, you know, I made that video when I was talking about black people cannot gift their children. I'm talking about it like it's just mad how in the black community. We can't go to our mum and dads and that for the most part, 95 percent of black people can't go to their mum and dad and ask for 20 grand and that. White people, they can. Not all of them, obviously. Not all of them. But man, listen and overhear my girl's phone calls when she's doing the mortgage applications and that. And there's white people. I know they're white. I know they're white. There's white people talking about, yeah, my auntie and my uncle are gifting me 15, 20 grand. I was like, bro, I heard it the other day, fam. I heard it the other day, which is after I made that video. I heard it the other day. She had some clients talking about, yeah, my auntie and my uncle are going to give me some money, like 15, 20 grand. I'm like, blood, man, I can't even get money from my madre or my papa to Ross Club, yeah? Let alone uncle and auntie, you know? Fam, we are too behind as a nation, as a race, you know, blood. Literally, if it was a race between black people and white people, they would have lapped us 10 times over. I could have taken a decade, two decade long nap in between and still beat us. One of jolting blood. Literally, it's an insult to your ancestors, especially if you, you get me, you're a descendant of a slave. To just be coarse along through life and you get me, just living life on easy mode, being lazy and that blood. You should be using your opportunity that you've got to be be in a country like this or if you're in America and that where there's a land opportunity to make something of yourself it's an insult to your fucking ancestors blood you should be ashamed of yourself 
People that commit suicide, they should be ashamed of themselves. You know how many people are dead right now? Or even got their legs amputated now. They can't live a normal life. For you to fucking go and... Yeah, waste the opportunity of life. Throw it in the people them's faces. Man spoke about this before. Appreciate what you have. And I'm saying that, you know, anytime you feel lazy, like, blood, I've got running tomorrow, fam. In the morning. I fucking hate running, blood. I can't stand it. But you know what? You know what motivates me? I just think about all the people who have their legs amputated or they're dead or whatever. They would love to have the opportunity to go running and that. That's enough motivation to get my ass up and go and go running, fam. Anyway, man, that's it, man. Let's see, man. Anyone who commits suicide, they should be ashamed of themselves. Any black people that's not making something of themselves, they should be ashamed of themselves. It's an insult to our ancestors that were enslaved, raped, beaten, tortured. So that you can live a normal life and get me. It's an insult to the freedom fighters, Rosa Parks, Malcolm X, all of these people. They'll be turning over in their graves if they see the way black people are acting and that. Stay where I've done that.